Very few countries actually take people's lives when they commit certain crimes. But the USA is one of those countries. In the US, there are 2,721 people currently on death row. The one upside to these guys' terrible fates is a free last meal. Every prisoner is entitled to choose their favorite food for their last meal. But sometimes these are ridiculous, gross, and just plain weird. I'm Charlie, and today we're going to look at the strangest last meal requests on Death Row. But before we get into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming up first, we have Gary Carl Simmons Jr. Gary was a terrible man and also a very greedy one. He took the life of Jeffrey Wolf because he owed him $20,000. But the remarkable thing about Gary is what he ordered for his last meal. He asked for way more than any person in the world could actually eat. He asked for a Pizza Hut Supreme deep dish pizza with double mushrooms, double onions, double jalapeno peppers, double pepperoni, a second pizza with three cheeses, olives, bell peppers, tomatoes, garlic, and Italian sausage. Also 10 eight ounce packs of Parmesan cheese. He also asked for 10 cups of ranch dressing. 8 ounces of jalapeno nacho cheese, 4 ounces of sliced jalapenos, 2 20 ounce cherry cokes, 2 large strawberry milkshakes, 2 pints of strawberry ice cream, and to top it all off, 1 family sized bag of Doritos nacho cheese. The calorie count of his gigantic feast was 29,000 calories. But where he went after this meal, I don't think you need to worry about weight. Next up is Troy Davis. Last meal requests don't always have to be ridiculous, sometimes they can be plain scary. Troy Davis was a man who was convicted of taking the life of a cop named Mark McPhail. He did seem to be the likely person who took this cop's life. However, he always maintained his innocence, and lots of groups, for example Amnesty International, wanted him to not have the death penalty. The Guardian even made a top 10 list, top 10 reasons why Troy Davis should not be executed. Hey, that's my style. Nevertheless, in 2011, his life was taken. He actually refused a special last meal, and he said, this meal will not be my last. That is a very ominous last meal request. I'm not sure what he meant by that, but it sure is creepy. Next up, we have Ronnie Lee Gardner. Do you like Lord of the Rings? Well, I'm sure you don't like it more than this guy, whose last wish was the Lord of the Rings. During a robbery, he shot a man in the face and took his life. In 2010, he was executed by the state of Utah using a firing squad. Wow, don't mess around in Utah, I guess. But his last meal request came with a twist. He ordered a steak, lobster tail, apple pie with vanilla ice cream, and a 7-Up to drink. Now, that may seem pretty normal, but he also asked for the Lord of the Rings trilogy. He watched this while he ate, and he also read the novel Divine Justice. Coming up next is Victor Harry Feger. This man was the last person to have their life taken by the state of Iowa. Victor had taken the life of a physician named Dr. Edward Bartels. Authorities believe he did this to try and gain access to drugs Bartels may have had for his patients. His last meal request was a single olive which had not been pitted. He told guards he hoped an olive tree would sprout from his grave as a sign of peace. After he was taken out, the olive pit was found in his suit pocket and was buried with him. Whether a tree sprouted though, I don't know. Next up is Odell Barnes. This is probably the most unlikely last meal request on this list. Odell had taken the life of a woman named Helen Bass. A lot of people were against him being taken out, including the government of France. But in 2000 in Texas, he was taken out. For his last meal request, he declined any food. Instead, he said he wanted justice, equality, and world peace. Yeah, I guess we can keep dreaming, Odell. Next up is David Leon Woods. This is kind of a creepy last meal request, so I thought I'd add it on this list. During a burglary, David took the life of a 77-year-old man. He was sentenced to execution in Indiana, USA. This happened in 2007, and the guard said, what do you want for your last meal? He said he would like a pizza and a birthday cake. Maybe it's just me, but that really creeps me out. Why would he want a birthday cake on the day he's about to pass away? Maybe he was making a poetic point or an oxymoron, but it freaks me out. Next up is Angel Neves Diaz. Angel was sentenced to execution in Florida. 
This was for various crimes, including kidnapping, armed robbery, and taking lives. He always said he was totally innocent, but when he was 55, it was time for him to meet his fate. Angel then did something that almost no prisoner does. He declined any last meal at all. Now, when this happens, the prison legally has to serve you a regular prison meal, but he declined to eat that as well. I guess his life was going to end anyway, so it doesn't really matter what he ate. Next up is Stephen Michael Woods Jr. Stephen Woods took the life of a man and his girlfriend. Stephen Woods took the life of a man and his wife. In 2004, he became an activist for prisoner rights from behind bars. He must have really thought prisoners are entitled to a lot, and he proved this with a crazy last meal request. Two pounds of bacon, a large four meat pizza, four fried chickens, two drinks of Mountain Dew, Pepsi, root beer, and sweet tea, two pints of ice cream, five fried chicken steaks, two hamburgers with bacon, fries, and a dozen garlic breadsticks with marinara sauce on the side. Next up is James Edward Smith. James Edward Smith had one of the weirdest last meal requests of all time. After taking someone's life during a robbery in Houston, Texas, he was sentenced to doom. For his last meal, he asked for dirt. Now, this is not because he loved eating mud. Instead, it's because he wanted to carry out a voodoo ritual. However, his wish was not granted. That's because dirt was not included on the list of foods approved by the prison system. Instead, he was given yogurt, which he did not eat. What kind of a place is this guy in that he can't even do a simple voodoo ritual? And finally on the list, we have Steven Anderson. When he was 49 years old, Steven Anderson was taken out by the state of California. He had taken seven lives during a burglary, and he'd also escaped from prison once before. For his last meal, he asked for two grilled cheese sandwiches, a pint of cottage cheese, some corn, a slice of peach pie, chocolate chip ice cream, and strangely, radishes. A pretty weird request, but I guess prison can make you go pretty nuts. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Vote in the poll in the top right corner, which was the most odd last meal request on this list. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thank you for watching. There's some more videos you may like on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.